Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Sarah Paul. I'm a professor in Ege University Department of Gastroenterology and the coordinator of Ege Reflux Study Group. Uh, we have been working with human oozing tumor studies with oesophageal biopsies and my friends are going to show you how to work with these oozing chambers. The esophageal biopsies are taken with 2.8 mm biopsy forceps from 3 to 5 cm above the lower esophageal sphincter. Biopsies should be targeted to the non erosive part of the mucosa. They should be stored in pH 2.4 to 2.5 ice cold ringer solution until the experiment. Pussing chamber is a system for measuring epithelial membrane permeability. Across epithelial membranes and electrophysiological parameters, essentially epithelial membrane resistance to C tissue integrity and short circuit current as an indicator of net ion transport taking place across into the epithelium. The system consists of a heat exchanger, a gas manifold, six chambers, currents and voltage electrodes, software for the PC and the data acquisition equipments. The gas should consist of 95% oxygen and 5% carbon dioxide and the pressure should be approximately 200 millibars. The gas manifold would forward nearly 6 millibars to each chamber. We adjust the thermoregulator at the water bed about 42 degrees Celsius because it will lose warmth within heat conduction tubes. The electrodes are very fragile, handle them carefully. The chamber consists of two equal parts. Close the chamber with the ring. Fill each side of the chamber with 3 ml of ringer solution. Wait until it warms up to the wanted temperature. Take the electrodes, insert them very carefully into the inner holes. Open the gas, let the buffer bubble till end of the experiment. The oozing chamber system should equilibrate 30 to 40 minutes. Aspirate the buffer, then mount the biopsy into the chamber attentively under light microscope. Oosing chamber isolates apical site from the basolateral site. The apical site of the epithelium should be on the top. Close the chamber with the ring and fill it with ringer solution again. Repeat the procedure same as before the calibration and apply for the rest of the chambers. The system automatically records the transepithelial resistance. A stock 100 mg per ml fluorescein should be prepared to measure epithelial permeability. 30 ml of fluorescein is added to the apical site of each chamber 30 minutes after the mounting. Collect samples from basolateral site within 2 hours in every 30 minutes. Replace with same amount of ringer as much as the samples in every 30 minutes. We cover upside the chambers with aluminium foil to avoid fluorescein contamination to the basolateral site. At the end of the experiment, use a spectrophotometer to measure the fluorescein amount within the samples taken for 2 hours of the experimental period. The electrodes must rinse with distilled water. Acetone or other strong solvent should not be used. Bare electrodes should be stored in a clean, dry and dark container. The chambers should clean with neutral detergents. Make sure any part of the system do not contaminate it with fluorescein after the cleaning. You have seen how to perform an oozing chamber study in human biopsies in general. Thanks for watching and best wishes from Agariflux team. If you have any questions, send us an email.